Hi, Sarah Starr speaking here. Okay, in this tutorial video, uh, what you're gonna be learning about is keyword research, how to do keyword research. Um, there's been a little bit of uh, change in the industry recently with the Google Keyword Tool. Uh, that was a tool that most of us used to use uh, to do our keyword research, and Google has recently, um, they haven't got rid of the Google Keyword Tool, they've basically just changed it and given it a new name. So uh, the, the Google Keyword Tool is now called uh, the Google Keyword Planner Tool, uh, and that's what we're going to be talking about today. Um, it's a completely free tool, so if you want to do some keyword research, um, highly recommend it. It's a great little tool, and they've actually added in some really good um, new, uh, new uh, features, uh, which I'm going to show you today. Um, now, the only downside, really, one of the downsides, actually, to the Google uh, Keyword Planner is uh, you, you have to have a Google account uh, to use this tool. So with the Google Keyword Tool, anyone could use it. Uh, but right now, if you want to use the Google Keyword Planner Tool, um, you'll have to open a, a Google AdWords account. Now this is completely free, you don't have to pay any money or anything like that or add any credit cards. Uh, so all you need to do is go to your Google, um, type in um, open a, a Google AdWords account and they'll just ask you for your name and email address um, and postal address and things like that and then open a Google AdWords account. As soon as you uh, have your Google AdWords account um, you can then log in and then um, all you need to do once you're in your Google AdWords accounts is go to tools and select the Google Keyword Planner. Very, very easy. Uh, and um, so I'm gonna assume that you've already done that and uh, let's do some keyword research. So today what I'm gonna be doing, talking about is uh, I'm gonna, I wanna do a little bit of keyword research on underfloor heating. Uh, this is something that's close to my mind right now because um, I'm just installing some underfloor heating um, in my house uh, in France actually. So I was actually doing a lot of keyword research and, and kind of worked out that actually this was a really good niche and I could possibly build a microsite uh, all about uh, underfloor heating and make money from uh, Google AdSense, possibly even sell products from eBay uh, and make money as an affiliate uh, selling affiliate marketing products. So what we're going to be, uh, I thought what I'd start off doing was searching for the just the, the generic term which I started with, which was underfloor heating. So we have this keyword here, underfloor heating, and we're going to see roughly how many people are searching for this particular keyword uh, per month. Okay, so all we need to do is uh, click on search for new keyword ad group ideas. So we just click on there. And we just type in um, our keywords. Now you can type in more than more than one keyword if you want. You don't have to just type in one keyword. You can type in as many as you want. But I'm just going to put in uh, one to start with. If you want to put in multiple keywords, uh, you could just put a comma uh, and then put multiple keyword phrases. Uh, we're going to leave all this for now. We'll talk about all these other settings in a minute. We're just going to start off with a very very basic search, and then we'll just click on Get Ideas. Okay, so it's brought up a load of different ideas and we've got two tabs here, ad group ideas and keyword ideas. Uh, I normally just ignore ad group ideas and just go straight to keyword ideas because we're looking for keywords. And straight away we can, we can see that 2,400 people a month are searching for underfloor heating and then it's given us lots of other um, words to do with this niche. So as an example, if I was building um, a website to do with uh, underfloor heating, um, you know, it's quite interesting that um, you know electric underfloor heating 210 so not many people are searching for electric underfloor heating um, and yep so we've got yeah so electric floor heating which is quite interesting 1900 people a month are searching for that so it's quite interesting I, I would have thought electric underfloor heating would be the thing that people search for but they don't they just type in electric floor heating um, which is very, very interesting. And look, floor heating, 4,400 people a month are searching for that. Um, so that it's, it's very interesting. We can go down and we can, we can get the general ideas for possible pages to build on our website. Now, the interesting thing about all of this data is um, the old keyword tool used to default to broad match. Um, this new keyword tool, it will only actually do searches in exact match. So if we type in underfloor heating and we go to Google, so it's going to click on Google here, and we type in underfloor heating, what that means, an exact match means exactly, you know, people who are typing in underfloor heating. They're not typing in underfloor heating shops, they're not typing in best underfloor heating company, they're not typing in 
underfloor electric heating. They're just typing in underfloor heating. So it's very, very relevant. Um, you know, so it, it's good, but it, people, some people might type in underfloor heating company, for instance, and that wouldn't include that. But it basically gives you a good idea of how many people are searching for that. So a lot more people are typing that into Google because some people might be typing in underfloor um, heating company or underfloor heating uh, shops or things like that. Um, but like I said, uh, w the Google Keyword Planner right now, uh, everything is defaulted to exact match. So it's actually very, very relevant uh, information. A lot of people don't like this, but it is very, very relevant. Uh, if you want to get a little bit more accurate um, understanding of exactly uh, how many people are searching for this stuff, if you do want to know what the broad or uh, exact or, or phrase match is, you can actually just add um, this keyword to your group here. And then there's a little picture of a pencil. And then you can select phrase uh, match or exact match if, if you're more advanced and you want that information. And then it will give you traffic estimation um, on those different match types. But I think broad match, uh, I think uh, exact match is actually very, very good because it gives you a very, very exact idea of how many people are actually typing this stuff directly into Google. Um, so we can see here straight away, we've got some really, really good relevant information. Um, the other thing it will do is it will give you a graph of how many people are searching for these, uh, you know, for this different type of search terms over the year. So we can see, and it's not really surprising, during the winter months, um, you know, December, February, seems to be a spike in traffic. And then in the summer, not so many people are searching uh, for this particular niche. So that's very interesting. Um, so like a trend data we've, we've got there. Uh, and that, that can be very, very useful for, for, you know, some niches like Halloween or Christmas niches, things like that. You can get an idea of the traffic and, and when the traffic will appear. One of the really interesting features that they've um, recently added um, to the Google Keyword Planner tool is ability to actually add locations. So at the moment, we're, we're searching for underfloor heating, but this is worldwide. So worldwide, 2,400 people are searching for underfloor heating. Um, however, what we could do is we could say, uh, we're only interested in people who search for underfloor heating in, uh, let's say, United Kingdom, okay? Um, and so let's let's search for that again. So we're so we're narrowing this down now to just the UK. So let's say we're a um, an underfloor heating company in the UK in England, and we're trying to target people. You know, trying to get customers. So obviously we, we wouldn't be interested in traffic from America. We'd only be interested in traffic from the UK because we have a shop here in the UK. And we can see that 1,600 people a month are actually searching for underfloor heating in the UK. But what? let's say we, we had um, a shop in central London. So you can actually even now, so I'm just gonna remove that, you can even search by city. So we can actually go London, uh, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, it's a great new feature. So we can see that 480 people just in, just in London in the UK are searching for underfloor heating. Uh, and that's really, really good information to know. And especially if you're actually, um, you know, if you're running um, a paid advertisement. So let's say we, 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 we had a underfloor heating company in central London, and we knew that our customers were worth a lot of money because if we put underfloor heating in a house, it's gonna cost, let's say about a thousand, well, actually my house in France, it's costing about 1500 pounds, which is about, well, two and a half thousand dollars, something like that for the underfloor heating. So the average customer value is probably over a thousand pounds. So we can afford to spend a lot of money on advertising. So if I had a, if I had a, if I sold electric underfloor heating, um, we can see here electric underfloor heating, 40 people a month in London, um, this is just London, are searching for this and it's three, $3.67 a click. So we'd only, you know, we can very quickly work out how much this is going to cost. Only 40 people a month would ever click on our advert, and it's only going to cost 367. But uh, it's very, very highly targeted. And if we, we told people we were in London, we could very, very easily get customers. Uh, this can also work incredibly well for AdSense. So don't think uh, this, is, you know, you have to have a shop in London. You can actually. Um, what I'm starting to do now with AdSense is I'm starting to build kind of like microsites based around cities. So as an example, what I could do is I could build an underfloor heating company based around uh, London. Um, to be honest, I'd probably look for a little bit higher than that, probably six or 700 people. Um, but what I could do is I could probably build a microsite all around just heating, just general heating for the house. 
um, but base it around London. So it was like really super niche localized and get it ranked in Google. And, um, you know, people would like that because, you know, you could you could talk about local shops, how, you know, the best places to go, make it a real resource for people and make money from advertising. And we can get ideas here straight away. Um, these are all searches in London that people are doing. Uh, so underfloor heating here, all one word, 8,000 people a month are actually searching for underfloor heating in London. Um, so underfloor heating, two words, isn't a very, very good search. We can straight away see here. But we can see here that underfloor heating, all, you know, all one word, underfloor and heating, 8,000 people a month are searching for that in London, just in central London, uh, which is absolutely incredible. So that's the Google, um, that's the new Google keyword tool. The, it's called the Ad uh, Google Keyword Planner. Uh, like I said, you need to have an AdWords account uh, to use this tool. But, you know, a lot of people don't like this new tool. Um, I actually really like it because you've got this match type here and you can t you can actually search just on a city basis or a country basis. So if we wanted to, we could just search the world or we could say we just want to search for keywords that people are searching for in, in America and Canada, etc. Um, so, you know, the, the other thing, let's just remove this search here. Okay. The other thing you can do is you can remove uh, low searches. So what we, what we could actually do is we could put a filter in here and we could say we're only interested in searches that get over uh, 1,000, let's say over 1,000 searches a month. Uh, let's say we're just after high traffic keywords. So we've now got results which only have uh, very, very high traffic. So over 1,000 or above. And you can also sort these by uh, descending here. So we can see here uh, 40,000 uh, for the, the top one and 2,400 for the low one. Uh, just in case you're wondering, competition, that's not competition, um, SEO competition, that's advertising competition. So that just means when it says high, that's not the SEO competition, uh, that's to do with, with um, adv advertising competition, how much money it's gonna cost you to advertise. Um, and these are all, this is all pretty much a very, very hot niche apart from this, this one here. Um, but that this is all very, very expensive niche to advertise in, but it's expensive because the customer value is so high. Um, so that's the filters there. You also have options here so you can turn on and off adult uh, things like, you know, adult keywords, um, etc. Um, I, you know, I don't bother with any of that or include or exclude. So you could say, I don't want anything that has the word free in it. Um, or there might be some technical term um, to do with your search that you, you don't really want in, in, incorporated into your search, something like a red herring, something that um, you, know, you, you, you don't want to appear in your search. So you can use a, a negative keyword and then uh, that keyword won't actually show up within one of these search phrases. So as an example, uh, let's say uh, I didn't want anything, any keywords to do with heaters. Uh, let's say, you know, my site's not about heaters. I'm not interested in keywords to do with heaters. Uh, so I, I could say uh, exclude any keyword phrases with the word heaters in as an example and it will just remove those from the list. So that's uh, the Google um, Keyword Planner. Um, I actually find it very, very useful. Um, it's a great, great way to start your keyword research or to start your research when you're building a website. And it's an absolutely fantastic keyword tool if you really want to niche down and get local. I hope you found this video uh, useful. If you have any questions, please do comment uh, below the video.